Welcome to the Battle of the Bands 2013. The techs are here, they've practiced, they've rehearsed, they are ready to rock it tonight. Before they do though, let's see the journey of how the Tex bands got here. What Barry Gordy was to Motown, what Clive Davis was to Columbia Records, that's what producers Irene Fountas and Gaysu Pinnell are to these Tex bands. It was in the 1990s when these young producers started out as teachers and literacy coaches, and through their small group instruction and hours of research, they knew that they needed a comprehensive plan that would help them raise the level of achievement in their classrooms. That plan was to match the right books with the right readers at the right time, and what they developed was that valuable tool of text-level gradients from A to Z that we know today. Eventually, they put this plan into place, classifying texts from preschool all the way to grade 8, in more recent years, some of these techs got together to form their own bands. Under the tutelage of producers Fountas and Padel, they worked so well together because of their shared characteristics that they had. Let's review the characteristics that the producers Fountas and Padel used to classify these tech sets. 1. Genre and form. 2. Text structure, how it's organized and presented. 3. The content of what is said in the text, which is related to 4. The themes and ideas. Five is the language and literary features of the text itself, along with six, the sentence complexity used in the text. Seven and eight are the vocabulary and words used specifically in the text, and nine is the illustrations that accompany the text. Finally, ten is the book and print features. There you have it. Those are the characteristics that these bands will be judged on, and now we're ready to meet the bands themselves. So, Kieran, dim the lights. Let's get to the first band, and away we go. The first text band that's up is KLM. Check it out. I'm doing this tonight. You're probably gonna start a fight. I know this can't be right. Hey, baby, come on. I love you. That's right, this boy text band is quite popular because it's the first time that there's several sequential chapters in a row that tell a story. Now in this text band, the characters have one trait, and it's clear to the reader what the trait is. Justin Timberlake, dreamy. J.C. Chazé, talented. Joey Fatoni, outcast. At any rate, it's clear that there's one main problem for the characters. And with songs like Bye Bye Bye, Girlfriend, It's Gonna Be Me, and This I Promise You, obviously the problem is with relationships. Of course, that doesn't include their relationship with teeny bopper girls. In this text band, the character usually solves his problem by the end of the book. In this case, one of them becomes a solo artist. The next text band that's up is NOPQ. Check this out. We There are a few features that are a lot more complex in this band than in the previous band. One is the characters dealing with more than one problem. And at the same time, the characters have more than one trait. In fact, some of the traits may be in conflict with each other. At one moment, they may be singing, We Will Rock You, and then the next moment, they may be singing Under Pressure. They just don't know who they are sometimes. At this level, the language is more complex as well. There may be puns and metaphors and language play. I mean, listen to this lyric. I see a little silhouette of a man. Scaramouche, scaramouche, will you do the bandango? Thunderbolts and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, 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 Galileo What in the world? Another thing that readers notice about the character at this text band is that he changes from beginning to end. Check out this change. Freddie Mercury before, Freddie Mercury after. Our third band up in the Battle of the Bands is RST, and they're unlike any other band before it. Check it out. First off, in this band, the characters are so complicated, the reader realizes things that the characters don't themselves. Like, get a haircut. Not only that, there's so much more going on. 
For the plot, for example, not everything ties together into one story. And secondary characters in this band play a major role. Well, they do until they leave. Just ask Neil Young. In this text band, the storyline could be broken up, and the reader needs to be able to read between the storylines and follow more than one of them at once. And you guessed it, setting in this text band is huge. Not only that, it's because of the setting that the characters act and react. In fact, in some of these texts, the setting itself is a character. And it's from the setting that obstacles are thrown at the characters. Many of these texts are historical fiction, where war, droughts, and major historical events play a huge role in the characters' lives. Um, Four Dead in Ohio, Need I Say More? Now the next band is none other than UVW. And in this band, things get really interesting. Just take a seat there. First off, a lot of information isn't given explicitly to the reader. The reader has to figure things out. Who are these guys? Where did they come from? And what happened to the other two? Another thing about this text ban is that readers have to be on the lookout for small things because they can be significant. Like, every move she makes is magic. And every breath you take. And da-do-do-do, da-da-da-da is all I really have to say to you. And finally, in this text ban, what the story is really saying may be about the real world. When they sing Walking on the Moon, do they really mean they're walking on the moon? Or is it some other message about the world we live in? And last but certainly not least, there's text ban X, Y, and Z. It goes without saying that characters at this level are extremely complex. See what I mean? Not only that, readers really need to pay attention because not a lot of things are explained within the text. In fact, what readers do is apply their knowledge from other texts in the real world to make sense of this text. Let me explain. Here's XYZ in a number of situations, but because of my prior knowledge, I'm able to make sense of a seemingly bizarre situation. Here's XYZ at the Trojan War. Here's XYZ at a royal wedding. Here's XYZ as an Oompa man. And here's XYZ as Marge Simpson. XYZ here has met the Muppets. And here's XYZ as the Dark Knight. Here's XYZ if she lived on planet Krypton. And here's XYZ at that bizarre body exhibit of those dead bodies. And here's XYZ answering that age-old question, the chicken or the egg. And wait, who's this? Oh. That's just normal XYZ. See, without these references, things are left unexplained, and texts at this level are like puzzles. The reader needs to use everything they know to figure them out. At this level, characters bump into social issues so much, they're shaped by it. But hey, she was just born this way. So there you have it. Those are our text bands for 2013. And now it's time for the results. Thank you. You know what? There can't be any winners of text bands because here's the thing. All the text bands are winners. What matters is that the right readers are reading in the right text band. Not only that, text bands are winners because they help us teachers figure out what a student needs to go from one text band to the next. But hey, at the same time, let's not get so fixed on text bands that we forget about the readers. Because we want our readers to walk around saying not that they're a reader at a text band, we want them to say that they're a reader who loves a certain type of music. And not only that, we want readers who like all types of music. Well, I guess it wasn't that much of a battle of bands after all. But one thing's for sure, each and every one of those text bands makes beautiful music. Consider yourself 
Pep Talk. You, who are on the road, must have a code that you can live by. And so, become yourself, because the past is just a goodbye. Teach your children well, their father's hell did slow.